Okay, I've gotten a suggestion. Although I think I'm going to go for a technician just to show that. I mean, technician is more interesting. With, I mean, all the classes are more interesting once you get to the top. The main difference is that Marine has more health, Scout has more speed, and technicians are... They get no time penalty for using consumables, and all computer maps are tracking maps. That's useful, but not super flashy. However, I haven't played them yet, so I might as well. And since I'm suggested to play a chain gun focus, I will do exactly that. So trigger happy requires son of a bitch. Son of a bitch is actually quite useful, and I should be using that more often, but... Mr. Rotatata will eventually be using chain guns, but not right now. Yeah, you can't corner shoot around trees. I don't know if that's a bug or what. Oh, come on. Okay, got rid of the first shotgun guy. For the moment, shotguns are going to be very useful, so I might as well just keep that in hand. Really, the importance of radar shooting cannot be overstated. Especially since I'm apparently on the version of this map where everyone's outside. Yeah, and just started pointing out that tech is a late game thing. Once you get a lot of mods, once you can modify your weapons, which you actually do start with a technical mod pack, I won't... I will use it once I get the chain gun. I mean, it does have a really useful mod for the shotgun, I think. No, the combat shotgun, I think, is a tactical shotgun with, the technical, with two technical mod packs. Because you can mod weapons both to increase stats, like technical mod pack decreases fire time, you have the bulk mod pack, which increases... The number, the, I think it's the size of the damage dice. Pa no, number damage dice. Power mod increases the size of the damage dice. And then there is another much rarer mod. There's a bunch of special mods as well, but there's another rarer mod. Which I can't remember what it is right now. But it's more of an armor one anyway. However, I need to finish this off. Okay, there we go. Not the best way of going... Oh, I don't need to have that. Drop B. Okay, I do need... If I'm going to be going for a chain gun focus build, I need a lot of 10mm ammo. Get all the ammo off here and... Thankfully not start dropping in the middle of a bunch of enemies. That is nice. Close the door. I've been forgetting to do that, actually. You can close the door in this game and it's really useful. One of the downsides of using the shotgun is that you will blow open doors. And you can't close them. And that was a really poignant example, since that was actually very dangerous. Yeah, that's... I'm not sure what's hurting enemies. And there's my chain gun! Awesome! Okay, let's get... Let's be another son of a bitch. Which is actually a trait I go for fairly often, normally. But at first I want to show sort of a basic generic playthrough, and then I want to show unlimited shotgun works. Because that was a build that carried me through for a long time. And I just screwed up by running too soon. Oh well, I'll find... Wow, that's a lot of ammo. That is a lot of ammo. Christmas came early for me. Oh, come on. There we go. And you, and you, and... I'm gonna be here for a little while. Bear with me, guys. There's a lot of ammo available here. And shotgun ammo for all the fancy radar shooting I need to do. At this point, I haven't actually set up my build to be... A shotgun build. Or sorry, a chain gun build. Been a bit more generic about it at this point. It's just a damage... Oh, darn it. Stupid knockback. Okay, just a damage build at this point, and yeah, I realize it's kind of embarrassing. I am not playing this as well as I would like. One of the reasons I was a bit concerned about streaming Doom RL at all ever was that I am not the best at this game. Oh, Agility Mod, that was the other one, thank you. Yeah, that is... That was a mistake. Anyway, that is speed. That is what that does. And it sounds like there's a lot of demons in the next room over there. I switched to offhand. Ah, phew. Only took a bit of damage. You, in this game, you do not want to take any... I mean, in most roguelikes, you don't want to take damage. Doom RL is actually even less forgiving, I find than a lot of other roguelikes when it comes to damage. There's very little in the way of health recovery. I'm getting kind of lucky in the amount of health recovery I've found, but overall not much. And hopefully this is a damage one. 
Yes, it is a damage one. Smell of blood surrounds you. That means that... Okay, there's the demons. And no one tell me that I am the demons. Because they're trying to kill me. And I think they might succeed in this point. Crap. Crap, 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 not again! Okay, this is bad. Run! And... Nope, no chance. I have no chance to survive. So much for that. Ugh. I did not mean to click on that door. That was a mistake. A fatal one at that. Ah! Okay, well, let's see, what time is it? I... Well, it's 8.05, I should probably do a run. This is getting embarrassing. I have not made a single run so far to even level 4, honestly. I don't know if I want to just show further than the game, just go, I'm too young to die, and then just blaze through it. Because you can do that, I mean, it's just easy mode run. Kind of silly, but... I have done it. And... Any... I don't know, any suggestions on to what difficulty level or what style for the next run? Hmm... Alright, I'll just go do old pistol scout. Although actually we'll show up intuition. That's the thing to show off. So I'll go for the dual wielding afterwards. Or I can get away with intuition if I want to do gun cutter, right? Yes I can. Okay, good. Yeah, intuition. I any name. Oh, Desar is pointing out Marine Shoddy Man to ammo chain, so I guess I could do that. Alright. So Shoddy Man was the double reloader thing we did before. And I don't... I, any name suggestions? Otherwise, we're going to get something kind of... for me. Wait, is the seer a name suggestion, or is that just something you're saying? Because I really want to know, is it, I need, I would like a name suggestion, but if not, then it's just gonna be... Oh, you're suggesting for the intuition build. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Which one should I go for? I kind of want to... I think we're just, it's going to be my last one. I'm going to show off intuition. So let's go with that. So intuition. Isn't John... St okay, I guess. That is my name suggestion. I think that's the actual canonical name of the Doom guy. I know John is... I'm pretty sure John is supposed to be the first name. I'm not sure if Stalvern is supposed to be the last name or what. I mean, it's pretty... Saying Doom Cannon is just kind of silly on its own to begin with, so honestly, I don't know. But yeah, at this point, Intuition's not going to do me much good yet, because it's not level 2. The Lavers will help, but it needs to be level 2 to see the enemies. Which actually will go well with a pistol build, come to think of it. that I won't use a radar shoot as much. To get my second pistol, get my double, and it'd be cool gun kind of guns akimbo. Oh come on, need to corner shoot this one out. And there's a guy up there too. Nope, there he is. Okay, are we done? Is everyone dead? I'll take your silence as a yes. Nope, that's not silence. That is a clear no. I can help with that, don't worry. That's my job. And I do it decently. Not necessarily well, though. I actually, well, this guy's done it okay so far. He's not dead yet. 
Although there's no med packs and oh come on, you've got to be kidding me! Although you can't dodge lost souls, just kind of handy. Damn it! Ah, come on! Okay, we're trying that again. Forget it. I don't care. The last John the Seer's Tavern did not exist. This is the new John the Seer's Tavern. Stupid Lost Souls. Lost Souls started in Room of Barrels. It was either death or death. That was just silly. Oh, he's pointing out that it's... That was John's Tavern was repercussions of evil. Which is the Doom fan... The infamous Doom fanfic from which... No, John, you are the demons originated. And it's associated memes and tropes and so forth. And that is not entirely irrelevant, so yeah. Especially since I made a Monica reference earlier, and once uh, her Monica reference by way of other thing reference, and that's actually another one to spoil, unfortunately. But yeah. If you haven't seen the show, you won't know what I'm talking about. If you have seen the show, you'll know exactly what I mean. So let us go. I don't know why I keep talking about that. Honestly, I've... I've said enough about that show. Let us never speak of it again. I have a shotgun. Shotgun, pistols, no chain gun, but I don't care for that right now. I do have my two pistols. Yes, both of them. So once I get to dual gunner, then I will be set. Assuming I actually make it that far. <sighs> Track record's not been great. First run was okay. Ladder runs have been... Oh, come on! I see one use... Good use of barrels. Oh, great. Blowing up my cover. Well, that didn't actually go so bad. All things considered. Lost a lot of cover, but hey, I'm alive. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And now we get to Intuition 2. So this is where it'll come. It'll be purple X's that pop up. As you can see, this, that's an enemy. That is an enemy. And there's an enemy in this room. Which means I can pistol it. Or just blow it up the barrel. That works too. But yeah, it does mean, it does help pistol builds. I will grant that. It doesn't mean you don't have to worry about working with the shotgun. You'd rather not. Well, in this particular case, the shotgun is very useful. I need to heal, and this is an army depot. Heals my armor. That's what I meant. The other thing is levers, you get their full function with Intuition 2. I couldn't get Intuition 1 by the time I found a lever. So no dice actually showing that off, but... There we go. Got rid of another imp. So yeah, Intuition 2, handy thing to have. I think it might be a bit of a crutch, but... It's still useful. I'm not going to deny that. It is useful. It's just... Radar shooting does save you. Good radar shooting does save you two skill slots. If it, even if it does force you into pretty shock and heavy playstyle. Anyway, just gonna finish off these last formers and that guy's gonna be a pain in the butt. There is no easy way to deal with that guy. I will just have to wait. No, I... I really don't. Rest, rest, rest. Kill! There we go. And... Oh, crap. Ah, darn it. Okay, that's dead. That's dead. Oops. Rest a bit more. Oh, come on. Should have run sooner. Okay, that was a mistake, but I'm still alive. Barely. The shotgun's still useful right now. I don't have the stuff I need to make... Oh, come on. To make anything else work, I do need to have son of a gun in order to make guns work. Son of a gun, son of a bitch, dual gunner. Although I think you can't have son of a bitch and get gun kata. No, you cannot. So I need to just go with son of a gun. But the pistols would deal more damage in that case. Although I suppose I could just go with son of a bitch and not worry about gun kata. Oh, yeah, I didn't shot barrel because I wasn't sure about this barrel being near stuff. 
I'm also a little bit concerned it's going to blow up health globes. I do not want to lose health globes if I can avoid it. Very, very important. But, that being said, I... Probably don't have to worry about it here right now. There's clearly nothing there. And one small health back, I am not going to Hell's Arena. I'm glad I was able to show it off the first time and get through it no problem, but... Yeah, these last few runs have not gone especially well for me, unfortunately. Down the stairs, and into actually relatively safe... Relatively... Safe. Need to rely on knockback more than anything against this guy. And it works. Shoot. There we go. This is a good corner shooting crate. Good corner shooting position, it's easy for me to avoid getting hit. Yeah, corner shooting is a little tricky, because you have to make sure you aren't in line of sight of your enemy. But otherwise it can work. And light goggles, because why not? Actually, it gets my intuition even more powerful, because intuition is two spaces away from your vision, and my vision having been improved like this is a big boon. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to deal with this. Now, in case you're wondering, I actually... I'm not just playing Ultra Violence because it's the hardest difficulty level, and this is a Let's Die Horribly, and thus, hardest difficulty level is part of the package. It's also because... Ooh, a large med pack! Awesome! It's also because... Let's Die Horribly... Sorry, it's also because Ultra Violence has more enemies, and thus more experience, and it's easier to level up and get traits and such. I mean, it's harder to not die, but... Getting your traits and so forth is a lot easier because you gain levels faster than hurt me plenty. You just die more frequently. That's all. Bit of a problem, of course. I mean, first rule of roguelikes, as in life, is first, do not die. Generally, good advice about life is don't die. The secret to a long and happy life. And now to go to my gun build, son of a gun. Actually, have I already lost? I haven't lost on gun kata, have I? No, I have lost out on Blade Master because of that, but I haven't lost out on Gun Kata. So I can still go for that. It's an odd build choice, especially since right now I am making very good use of shotgun. Holy crap. That was. T okay, Berserk Pack. It's Berserk Pack time and corner shooting time. And getting behind this for further corner shooting, goodness. Get rid of Hell Knight. So yeah, like I said, first do not die. Good rule of life. In this case, very relevant. If it's a question of killing or dying, killing comes second. Or rather, killing and dying, or not killing and thus not dying. Don't die. Oh, darn it. See, that's what I mean by losing a health flow. You damage the thing, but... Yeah, see here, this is a lot of demons. Oh, crap. I can't do anything about that. There's no door. This is gonna go pear-shaped in a moment. Actually, are these demons? I think these are imps. At least in part. Oh yeah, these are largely imps. There are some demons, but if I get into a good position, I can avoid dying. Wonderful! Oh crap. That's not so wonderful. But I have health back, so I'm not dead yet. Die! There we go! Another floor cleared. In the name of shotguns, I suppose. And some plasma ammo, which may be coming in handy later on. And I mean may, and I probably mean not, because unless I get the mods for it, I don't think I can make a plasma pistol. I think there's a plasma pistol. I think. Frankly, I'm not entirely sure. Get out of the way. There we go. Oh yeah, see the thing is... Pushing barrels, as mentioned in the chat, pushing barrels is not the best idea. Because, yeah, it's great if you can trick an enemy into a barrel and blow them up. It's a really bad thing if an imp fires a fireball which splashes, hits the barrel, blows it up, and you're right next to the barrel and you die as a result. Which kind of violates the first rule of roguelikes in life. Since you die. Big red text flashes in front of your screen saying, you died. Well, actually no, because I'm not playing Dark Souls. But the rule applies there too. Don't die. Oh yeah, and crates. Want to get rid of this after I cleared it. Just armor. Hello, another 100% armor is not bad to have around. Let's drop my 26%, get 100%. Durable armor can be hard to come by. And worse is a maze. Lost soul filled maze. Shotgun's gonna come in real handy here. 
Berserk Pack, not so much, but Shotgun, yes. Berserk Pack really helps a lot with melee, but yeah, Shotgun, not so much. That is a bit of a problem. So, let's see. Nothing in here. And I can get a track map. Oh, no, I'm playing Scout. Never mind. However, I can get boots, which I haven't shown before. These protect you against, well, mostly, a little bit in this case, against acid and lava. I haven't actually had to walk on acid and lava yet, but it's it comes up. It's really annoying when it does, especially when a lever goes off and you didn't realize it was a lava lever until it was too late. And ooh, a super shotgun. Awesome. Useful, but has a super high reload time. Well, two seconds reload time, but that is quite high. Yeah. Time is very important here. What have I got? Ah, Chained Court. So, the special level from here gets you to Chainsaw. If I had beaten Hell's Arena, there would be a special enemy at the end, but I have not. So it's just gonna be a bunch of Hell Knights, I mean Barons of Hell actually in Ultraviolence, and a Chainsaw. Which will be handy. Actually, I should get the med pack. Save the globes for later. Heal up. Oh, do I want to... Blow that up. I do now! Dodge that lost soul. And there we go. Oh crap. Get behind the wall! Oh. And corner shoot. Corner shoot to win! There we go. And careful not to blow up barrels because that's... What did I just say? Turn at me! Well, okay, I didn't know the barrel was there, but still. Wait, I had son of a gun on, didn't I? And demons have two armor. I do have son of a gun, right? Yes, I do have son of a gun. Okay, good. So I deal... Oh, wait. 2d4 plus 1 damage. Which, compared to 8d3, might actually not be worth it at this point. Once I get dual gunner, it most certainly will be, but this... Not where I am now. Okay, more form is dead, more demons dead. Even with intuition, I'm still radar shooting, so... I don't know, it's... I'm not the most confident in that skill. I just want to show what it was, just for everyone's benefit. I mean, it is useful for planning. I will grant that. Definitely makes planning a lot easier. And now we level up. Once again, I need Son of a Gun twice for Dual Gunner. I'm at 2d4 plus 2. Which, given the lack of knockback, is not going to be super useful against the demons here, but... Still, a useful thing to have. And just to double check, I do have two pistols. Actually, I have three pistols. I should drop one of those. Drop the empty one. Didn't mean to pick that up. Okay, there is the chained court. And I need to get three more demons. Shotguns make everything better. Not quite a universal fact of life, but in this case, they make everything better. Everyone in the hands of my enemies, which they aren't for a long period of time. Since those hands get... Just torn to shreds. Oh, darns. Bad move. Oh, you, you used my med pack! That sound is a med pack being used. He used a med pack that belonged to me. It's rightfully mine, and he stole it. I mean, sure, he had it first, but still. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so Death Heart pointing out that Son of a Gun 3 is. is apparently better than Dual Gunner. Which, interesting. I didn't realize that. That is certainly something to bear in mind, I suppose. I've, let's see, what? Let's think about this. We have du Son of a Gun, which is one more damage per, and Dual Gunner, which allows you to fire two pistols almost as fast as one. Hmm. That pretty much doubles the damage, though. I mean, this is... So 2d4 plus 3 versus 44 plus 2. Or sorry, 44 plus 4. I'm not sure I totally agree with the assessment, I gotta be honest. Okay, also, this is... Chainsaw makes you berserk. However, since I'm berserk to begin with, I might as well just go out and blow stuff up. And since the arch file is not here, or the master of the arena, which is an arch file, which if you've played Doom 2, you know means that it revives enemies nearby. Since that's not a concern, I can just kill stuff. No big concern. Not going to revive. There are Barons of Hell in here. Hitting the switch will release them. But I might as well get rid of all their support first. 
resistance. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Got to run out of there. Okay, there we go. Got rid of that. Oh, come on. And that's why I got rid of the support first. So I don't have to deal with chain gunners and the barons. That would just not be wise. Oh, can I move my bike back? Okay, that's a shame. Let's... Well, let's get out of this then. And actually get to the... Oh, come on. Okay, so first things first. And get rid of the other support side of support. These guys will not respawn, thankfully, so... If this was the super mode after beating Hell's Arena, it would be different, but since it isn't, I can just blow everything up with impunity. And these are two Barons of Hell that are on one switch. Oh crap. Okay, there we go. Got rid of that guy. So yeah, the two Barons of Hell there are not... They're not very nice. They aren't the easiest people to deal with. And they kind of want me dead. Which is true of everything around here. I mean, really, I've just been going through hell this entire time. <sighs> but, might as well get the chains. Oh, pff, not enough room. Oops. Okay, what can I drop? I can drop... I can drop the combat knife. Because we're getting chainsaw! The best melee weapon of all time! And, actually, I just want to... Intuition goes away when you berserk. And... Die, Baron! There we go. Got rid of one. And two. There we go. And in case you're wondering, healing, of course, with Berserk Pack, the healing is actually great because it fully heals you up when you Berserk Pack. Although at this point, this is two Barons. Cutting up one, cutting up the other. There we go. Both Barons down. And now it's going to... That switch also opened up this area here. So there's enemies in the starting area that were not exposed before, which are now. One more left. I know you're here. Let me kill you. You want to die? I know it. There we go. It's dead. Fucking shells. Dead angle mod pack. Not sure what to do with this. Oh. Oh, Death Star is pointing out that Son of a Gun po pushes down firing time. Okay, that is actually a really good point. I forgot about that. So with pistol right now, my firing time is 0.55 a second, so the DPS is higher. Good point. So I guess I'll go Son of a Gun 3 first, and then go for Dual Gunner. Now, Bulk Pack and Technical Pack. I know there's something I can do with this. I don't remember what it is offhand. Oh well. Pick them up for now, and then figure it out later. So drop this damaged armor. And where's the other thing? Drop my... Drop the chainsaw! No, no, no. No, I will not drop the chainsaw. I will... Drop some of these shells though, and then someone in the chat can remind me what technical mod pack and bulk mod pack do together. That's so awesome. That'd be great. So I'm probably good for, especially since I'm going to be moving on to pistol more often than not. Probably move to getting myself other ammo. I don't. Is plasma power going to be that useful? I suppose yes. Might as well grab some of it. Not gonna get power cells for a while yet. I'll drop some of the 10 millimeter ammo. That stuff is a dime a dozen. Grab more power cells, and that's 100 power cells. That should serve me okay. Not great, but okay. Actually, I can heal up and grab a bunch more power cells. There we go. All the power cells. No complaints. Grabbed all the power cells. Oh, fireproof armor. Hmm. Should I go for that for green armor? I think I might want to wait for blue armor for that one, actually. Or some other good assembly. Well, shotgun is prep weapon. Oh, that was a big mass of enemies. Oh! Okay, plasma guns. Right off the bat. Oh, shit. That... I had not yet encountered. Should have stuck to the shotgun. That was stupid. That was really, really stupid. Okay, any death in roguelike is usually stupid. But hey, I could level 6. That's the furthest I got on stream. Although I have gotten to level 8 in ultraviolence. That is actually the furthest I've gotten. Or no, level 7. Here we are. Though this is actually in Phobos Lab, which is one of the secret area, or one of the secondary areas off of level 7. Oops. Well, that was that. 
I hope you enjoyed that. It was definitely an interesting diversion. Hopefully Zero K's replay situation is going to be figured out quickly. And I started pointing out the situation is probably unwinnable. You know what? I probably could have I forgot to run. That I did I forgot to run. That might have helped. It would have at least made it less accurate. Oh well. I mean probably my best bet would have been to run into the plasma, get in melee range, and just punch the guy out. Oh well, that or shotgun the guy to death. Because that range, the shotgun's very powerful. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. That is going to be it for me tonight for this special, different stream of Doom the Roguelike. And have a good night, everyone. Hopefully this Saturday stream is going to be 0K as usual. Or, or Akron, one of the two. But usually it's 0K on Saturdays. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.